Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Mega Man for the NES. For those of you that are familiar with this game, you can probably see that this is going to be the final video of my playthrough. I was originally going to have Wily Stages 3 and 4 as separate videos, but as you'll see here, I had such an easy time getting through Wily Stage 3 and it didn't take all that much time, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to consolidate the final two stages of the game. And as you can see, a big reason why this Thunder Beam, <laughs> it's so awesome. Now this next section here is pretty cool. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure what to expect here, but once I finally figured it out, just kept on going and shooting whatever was headed towards my direction, and pretty much go over the current as far as the penguins, but here, the, the secret here is to shoot and then back off just a little bit so you don't get damaged, like I'm doing here. Which I don't have to worry about since I'm not playing legitimately, but if I was, I'd be doing the same thing so I won't get hit by the blast radius. Which right there, one got cheap shot on me. And as you can see, I'm at the stage 3 boss already, which its weakness is Gutsman weapon, super arm, but as you can see here, this weapon was kind of messing up on me again, so I really didn't get a chance to... Oh, I did manage to get a hit. I was gonna say, I didn't think I managed to get a hit on him, but... That is this boss weakness, but unfortunately I... ...ran out of blocks, so I figured I'd get this guy with a thunder beam once again, since this weapon not only is my favorite, but it's pretty power powerhouse weapon, and... Looking back now, it, it is taking a good chunk of energy away from this boss, so... In a way, I am kind of glad that I do like the Thunder Beam as much. What I should have done here was be a little bit more careful not getting hit by this thing. I should have jumped into one of the alcoves below, but I, as you can see here, my things kind of went blank, but... I, f I did defeat this boss, so I don't know what went on here. It may have been a glitch or something, but... That took less than three minutes for that stage, so I figured, you know what? Might as well add this final stage in with it, too. As you can see that from that edit there. Now, the, the beginning part of this last level here is a bit of a pain in the neck. For me, and you'll see why here in a minute. Of course, those things are from a Lechman stage. But luckily, the Thunder Beam makes quick work of them, too. And of course, why, do you, why need Super Arm when you can just get Thunder Beam to take care of those blocks? I, I, I want to say that they're called Spread Bombers, but I'm not entirely for sure. I think that's what they're called. I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up, but, uh... Yeah, they're, they're not they're not that bad as long as you're careful. Now, this is a stage here that gave me issues. And to be honest with you, this is kind of like my own dumb fault. Here. And you see here, I tried using Magnet Beam, but that didn't work out too well. <laughs> As you can see there, I fell into the spikes. Okay. And while I was here, I figured, you know what, I might as well give the magnet beam a second shot, and I was so glad I got it there. <laughs> that was kind of close, but luckily Mega Man was able to hang on, so... And here's the rematch with Bomb Man, which his weakness was the firestorm from before. And of course, the secret is make sure he doesn't jump into you, or not to let him jump into you. Of course, he got a last cheap shot there with that last bomb, but... Not too bad. Well, hello there, Fireman. Of course, his weakness is the Ice Slasher. Yeah, I almost said Ice Shooter. <laughs> That's why I kind of slurred that for a second, but... 
Yeah, the Ice Slash is fire we man's weapon. Or should I say weakness? Iceman, he's more of a joke than ever. Just feed him a few thunder beams and he's pretty much gone. <laughs> And now the final rematch involving Gutsman. And his weakness is the Bomb Man's weapon, which is a Hyper Bomb. Now, I'm not a big fan of this weapon. As you can see, you kind of have to have where you land your bomb where he's going to be, but the problem with that is he keeps on moving around, so it, there's no guarantee he's going to be right where the bomb is. Wh which sometimes right there he'll jump into it, which is but, uh... As you can also see, I wasn't making sure that I was avoiding his shockwave, so... After another edit there, we are off to finally fight Dr. Wily. Which, I don't know why I switched to Thunderbeam here, which... First part of this battle, his weakness is gonna be the Firestorm. In this capsule. Yeah, this doesn't last too long at all with a firestorm. And then I switch to... Thunderbeam. Well, hello there, Dr. Wowie. But yeah, you can use Thunderbeam here, and he's also weak to the rolling cutter here. Which, I probably should have used the rolling cutter here, but... Like I said before, I'm so, I was so used to the Thunderbeam, I might as well... Just, I decided just to stick with it. One more hit. And he is gone! He is gone. Of course, this is the first game out of many where he's, on <laughs> where he's begging Mega Man for mercy here. <laughs> but yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. Of course, you get points for that, which I really don't care about the points. It's more about beating Dr. Wily, in my opinion. But, uh, but yeah, not a bad fight, and, uh, looking back overall at this game, it, it really isn't that bad, you know, it's, is it as good as, like, the later games in the series? I don't think so, but at the same time, though, it's not a, it's not a real bad game, I, like, if this was the only game in the series, I, I would have been happy with it, but, neither, having said that, I was glad that they came out with more Mega Man games, and, as you'll see in the credits here, they kind of set themselves up for sequels. So... But yeah, this game has its flaws, but I don't think... Yeah, I, I just... Uh, it should be considered an NES classic, in my opinion. And I'm sure a lot of people agree with me, though, but... Uh, for this being the first game, you can tell where things were kind of not... As polished as what they were in later games, but... Without being too redundant in that, it's... If you get a chance to play this, or if it's, uh, If you have this game, or you... You play this game before and you don't have it, I suggest playing it again. You can actually get this game on the Wii... And the Wii U Virtual Console. As a matter of fact, I got this, uh... I actually bought this from my Wii U not too long ago. Which I probably should have played a little bit before I started this pl playthrough. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, if you get a chance, definitely play this game, because it is a classic. And that's pretty much it for this, so thank you, and tune in again next time for my next project.